I'm immature as shit. I'm gonna be a dad. Uh, let me give you an example. I'm gonna be fuck up this kid really bad, you guys. Every house plant I've ever owned has died slowly and terribly, including a cactus I once owned. And you don't even have to water those fucking things. But I'll tell you what, I'm not gonna fuck up this baby. I'm gonna water that fucker every day. Now that, I'm, now that I got my girlfriend pregnant, people are talking about marriage, and I'm like, fuck that, y'all. There's no way I'm gonna marry that baby, you guys. <laughs> now, I know what you're thinking. Who the fuck is this guy with the pubes on his face coming up here? Guys, my name is Sam Rucker. I run the Next Door Comedy Night in Johnson City, Tennessee. Uh, oh, shit. Yeah, so we do comedy for charity. We have a good time. A uh, little bit about me, though. Most of my friends call me, go away. My parents gave me really cool nicknames growing up, though, like accident and mistake. I'm just glad I survived the abortion, really. But to understand who I really am, you really have to take a look at my childhood. Uh, I remember the first time I saw a naked woman. Yeah, body was soft, supple, smooth. Um, unfortunately, it was my mom. <laughs> Yeah, at four years old, I walked in the bathroom and she stepped out of the shower. <laughs> and I screamed, oh god, mommy, who cut off your pee pee? <laughs> That's right, guys, the first time I saw a vagina, I thought it was an open wound with jerry curls. <laughs> when I was younger, I went to Boy Scout camp. I got molested so hard they had to give me a badge for it. <laughs> <laughs> I was the first kid out of Troop 69 to get the discretion badge. My parents couldn't afford to circumcise me until I was seven. So you can guess what I brought to show and tell that year. Everybody said that I got the short end of the stick in that situation. Now my parents divorced when I was nine. That sucked, but I was really proud of my mom because she became a really devout Buddhist. Or at least I thought she did. I could hear her go into her room at night and do her chants. Just all night, she would lock her door and... Mm, <laughs> and I'm like, wow, man. She's up there, like, centering her chakra. She's gaining strength. I want to be just like this woman. So I would sit in my room and do my chants, go... Mm. I think that's around that time she started taking me to therapy. <laughs> and therapy was fun, you guys. At least it was for me. I'm what you call a nervous masturbator, which I didn't have a problem with when my therapist had the restraining order about it. <laughs> Knowing me, I was like, whatever, bitch. Either way, I still paid for the hour. <laughs> yeah. I dated the therapist once. So I don't recommend it. It's awkward. The, the foreplay is just too weird. Like, ooh, baby, show me in the doll where you want me to touch you. <laughs> she was blonde. All right, you guys know why blondes don't make good therapists? Because you can't swallow all your problems. What are they supposed to teach you? <laughs> There's like four blonde women in the audience walking out now. Sorry. She got really pissed when we broke up and I asked her to refer me to a friend. <laughs> so at this point, I was single in my life. I worked at a diner uh, for two years, graveyard shift. That was a fucking bitch. I didn't get better at my job, but I got really good at jerking off in the bathroom. <laughs> So good, in fact, that I worked out a whole technique system. All right, technique one. I would start like this, sitting on the edge of the toilet. Actually, I'm, I'm left-handed. So I would start like this, sitting on the edge of the toilet, I'm working like that. Now the thing is, if someone walked in, you come on, fellas, you don't stop. I mean, you can't stop. You just kind of slow down. And I was always terrified that someone would see me through that little crack in the wall. So I at least pretended like I felt bad, like. So the whole idea behind that was that I would jump up, turn around, and finish in the toilet. But it would never work, because I was coming. So I would jump up and finish all over the bathroom. <laughs> it's cool, I, I have a way to beat that. My second technique system, I would face the toilet to beat that problem. I would have porn on my phone and hold it in my hand and kind of work it like this. It's important to remember I had to lock my knees. Because nothing says rock bottom like having an orgasm in the floor of a Denny's bathroom at 3 a.m. <laughs> So I would lock my knees, and I would do it like that. But that didn't work either, because I could hear people coming in, and I would have to rush and serve their table without washing my hands. Uh -huh. So I would always, like, sometimes my knees would stay locked, and I would have to walk to the table like this, and everyone thought I had a muscular problem. <laughs> so that was hard, but my sex life improved a lot recently. 
Mainly because I found out my dog likes peanut butter a lot more than he cares if people think that he's gay. Now, when I was single, I wasn't a player, but I can make any girl squirt. It's easy. You just give them Indian food. They'll squirt for like three days. Warmth of the sunlight hitting me from the window. And I was like, this is a perfect moment. And then I opened my eyes and realized it was dark, and the warmth was me just kissing all over myself. Now that was hard, but it's not nice to be worse. Come on, you gotta go quick. Ready? I don't know. You're not. Sit down next to him. I don't know. He doesn't know what's going on. He's fucking old. He's 70 years old. Before I met my girlfriend, I was 16 years old. And I looked at the pictures to say, you're really nice. All right, that's enough wobbling my dog. Next. I yeah, yeah, can I get a picture? I don't know, man. Yes. Where's Justin at? Who's doing this meet and greet and shit? Here. Here. Hold on, man. We don't do okay, both. okay, do both. Hello. Where's Justin? Where's Justin? Oh, sure. Awesome. Come here, make all of us. Get it out of the way.